All right, let's talk entertainment. Let's begin in Nigeria, where rave of the moment, Odumodu Black, has fans all riled up waiting for his mixtape, Ezioku. Now, the Rookie of the Year nominee made a post on Instagram of the cover art of the upcoming project, and fans are still waiting excitedly. Now, since his first teaser post two days ago, fans are now frustrated about the uncertainty of the project release date. Now, Odumodu Black had tweeted to his fans, and he said, Are you ready for the truth? And in a later tweet said, I am deeply sorry, but no one is ready for the truth. We put a sad emoji and a heart emoji, uh, then hashtag Ezioku is coming. Now, while some fans wait eagerly, others have expressed their disappointment at the rather cryptic news. Now, let's take some of the reaction. This one here uh, by Day Genius says, where is the mixtape? We go Ryoto with angry face emoji. Uh, another one says, just tired at this point. I will move on. When it drops, I will listen. This is frustrating to wait like this. Uh, now, checking this morning, there's a new single of Odumodu Black featuring a Flame Ice, and that one's called Bipolar. I guess fans can enjoy that while they wait for the mixtape, or maybe or not, he was just teasing about it. Uh, but we call him the rave of the moment now because he's been trending, he's featured on so many top artists, and people are just looking forward to him dropping an actual project. Well, I'm a huge fan as well, so I'm waiting for that, and I'm sure it'll be a hit. Now, still on the music scene, Tanzanian superstar Diamond Platinums has completely shut down his show in Equatorial Guinea. Now, the East African star puts on a fantastic show, completely packing out the 15,000 capacity Malabo Stadium. Now, videos posted online show the crowd thrilled by the multi-award winning 33-year-old musician. Now, the Bongo Flava star has been performing across several parts of Africa for months and has now begun a Wasafi festival. It began with his performance in Equatorial Guinea and next to another 5,000 capacity stadium in southeast Tanzania. Now, uh, Tanz international fans shouldn't be jealous, in fact. Uh, Diamond Platinums has also assured fans he's dropping the European tour schedule, although it's yet to drop. Uh, let's watch a video of what that looked like uh, so we can get a feel of the crowd going wild uh, during his performance. one of the biggest stars out of East Africa and truly he is selling out stadiums all across Africa. Now let's head to Kenya where a Ruga lookalike was seen performing to excited fans. While Nigerian sensation Ruga has been touring across the world, this lookalike put on a show to thrill fans replicating the Jonesing world star. Uh, not only just replicating him, replicating his style, his pink hair and his Ruga eye patch. Now the lookalike was performing actual Ruga songs to a charged crowd in Kenya while being hyped on stage as Ruga by the hype man. Let's watch this video. Now, up until you actually take a close look, that is not the real Ruga. But several fans have reacted to this. Let's take a couple of the tweets uh, that we see online. This one here says, that's impersonation, a criminal offense. That's from Ayokunle. Another person, of course, uh, um, talked about, in fact, for the actual Ruger fans, uh, the truth is a 23-year-old star just dropped his debut album today. Yes, I mean the real Ruger. And it's titled Rue the World. It's a 17-track project and featured several stars from British female rapper Steph London to Kenyan sensational male group Southie Soul. There's also Jamaican dancehall stars uh, Govana and Projects. Fans can enjoy that project. Congratulations to the star. And uh, about this lookalike, I, 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 in fact... I can only imagine the fans who were there expecting that, oh, this is actually Ruger. And unfortunately, they didn't know that that would be sad. I wish we could go on. There might be some charges against 50 Cent after he threw a microphone at um, a, an audience member. Uh, that one, well, let's, let's see how that pans out. 
his lawyers are not saying they're they're saying that you know he was it was not deliberate. Uh, but this woman seems to see so. See a lot of that happen with people throwing things at artists whilst they're performing on mm -hmm. stage. I think that needs to stop. Mm -hmm. They've done it to um, what's her name? Uh, I think it was Cardi, Cardi B. B. Yes. So mm -hmm. so there's a, every action requires a so reaction. Have, uh, I think you're talking about Fifty Cent. Fifty Cent. Um, the story that I saw said, you know, that he was complaining about his mic not Yeah, working. that's correct. Okay. They had yeah, given so him a couple of mics, mic yeah. changes, and then the last one still didn't work, and then he threw yeah. it. If there was a video, I could have played that for you. I thought it was that he did it in a re reaction to no, someone pointing no. a drink at him. Then mm -hmm. if that, no. I, was, I think it was frustrated. The mic wasn't working, you know, back to back, and so he, you know. Sadly, yeah. if you see the pictures of the lady who was injured, it was really bad, and she was in the hospital. Well, yeah. he will have cases to answer. Mm -hmm. We wish, we hope that... Uh, this chaos and uh, issues between artists and their audience can come to an end that we can actually enjoy and show have shows that we can enjoy. Thank you, Sam, for bringing us Way. the entertainment. Paul, Way. who's your Sam? Who would you, which artist would you do? You know, be their lookalike. Don't say I already know mine. <laughs> Rema <laughs> or Fireboy. <laughs> All right, I, I already know Fireboy. mine. When I was the last Lima, it would, it would have been Tiwa, and I've done it before. I'm going to show you next week on Monday. Remind me, I'll show you next week. Sam Dandy will be like Fireboy or Joe Boy, one of the boys. And Osage will most likely be Ike or Sakujiwa, even though he's not an artist. All right.